Hi, hello, I'm Velvich Boss, a PhD student at the Mixed Reality Lab at the University of Nottingham. Hello, I'm Imo Kaufman, a PhD student in the Culture, Media and Visual Studies Department, also at the University of Nottingham. In this video, we will discuss our paper Respawn, Reload, Relate, exploring the self-care possibilities for mental health in games through a humanistic lens. In our paper, we explore self-care possibilities for mental health in games. We do so through a participatory workshop series with a group of people who enjoy games and who have their own experiences with mental health. For this paper, we define self-care for mental health as a set of personal practices that people can use to look after themselves. Examples for self-care include activities like hiking, drawing or meditation. Games are also used for self-care in a wide variety of ways. As research questions we ask, firstly, how do people who have experiences with mental distress use regular games for mental health focused self-care? And two, what can we learn from games being used in such a transformative and reconfigurative manner for the design of mental health focused self-care technologies? To investigate the relationship between games, self-care and mental health further, we organized a participatory workshop series. Over four workshops, we engaged 16 people with experiences of mental distress in speculative making activities and discussions of how self-care technology inspired by games could be re-envisioned. The very baseline of our work was informed by humanistic psychology. Humanistic psychology is an approach to make sense of people's inner and outer worlds, specifically their mental health. As a pedagogy, it proposes that a non-judgmental, compassionate and empathetic environment can support people to flourish and self-actualize. Therefore, mental distress is understood as the result of a person not being able to genuinely live as who they authentically are. The barriers blocking a person can be multifaceted and include individual, personal and external environmental or political factors. Mental distress is understood not just as an internal matter, but as something holistic that touches on all aspects of someone's life. For the sake of brevity, we keep the description of our workshop series short. We introduced speculative design to the people who joined the workshops. Together as a group, we sketched out concrete ideas and activities that could help others to make self-care tech, inspired by games and our own experiences of mental health. We thematically analyzed our discussions and collective sense-making and present our findings as two themes. Our first theme is Games as Spaces for Exploring Personal Potential. Throughout our discussions and workshops, participants shared rich moments using games as vehicles for self-exploration, as a self-care activity. This exploration touched on many different aspects of life and identity, for example sexuality, disability, gender and mental health, and happened in a diverse set of games, not just calm or relaxing games. Our second theme is games as emotional buffers. Participants use games as spaces within which they could process and or escape from experiences of mental distress. For example, becoming immersed in an engaging narrative game can provide a good distraction from everyday life. It can also be used as a vehicle to self-reflect and feel deeply. We call this process reframing games for self-care. Participants both reframed games actively by consciously choosing to engage with a game for self-care, but also serendipitously or by accident. The latter moments were often the result of people connecting deeply with the game they played. Now we will sketch out how game developers and makers of gameful self-care technologies could build on our findings. Using speculation as a starting point, imagining who you could be is a speculative future-oriented activity that reframes your life. Creating a new path for yourself, a new narrative, can be a powerful tool for mental health and well-being. This approach could inspire a new baseline for gameful self-care technologies that center around player agency. The potential to reframe a game for self-care is never guaranteed though, and rests on personal limitations, preferences and possibilities. Workshop participants also encountered games as hostile spaces that can reproduce oppressive structures or normative assumptions. Challenge self-care stereotypes. 
We encourage developers to reflect on the plurality of gameful self-care possibilities, to challenge common self-care stereotypes and explore new venues that engage with players' lived experiences. Taking inspiration from humanistic psychology, we see humanistic concepts as sources of inspiration that may enrich or shape the creative process of bulk games, and by proxy, gameful self-care technologies could be like life-affirming companions instead of authoritative, excluding expert artifacts. We would like to thank all of the people who took part in this research for taking the time and energy to participate. Thank you for watching our video.